Gunslinger. So this is a really cool move to get to practice and play with. It is honestly the bottom half of your clean, which means that most of you, if you have kettlebells in your practice, have been playing with this move quite a bit, but now it's gonna take a lot of control because you're gonna stop your movement in your clean. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then I'm gonna break it down a little bit if you need to understand a little bit more of the logistics, if it's like, what is happening? <laughs> so let's get into it. So you're gonna grab onto your kettlebell. Starting off, you're gonna get yourself set up like you would in a regular swing. So hinging back, loading through the hamstrings. Watch yourself, Bindi. Um, hands on your belt. And then you're gonna get into a pistol grip. So normally we come into a neutral grip with palm back. We're gonna come to a pistol grip, thumb up, okay? From there, you're gonna sit yourself back, load into the hamstrings, pull, get your bum out of the way, pull into your lats, and you're gonna inhale, hike. Exhale, you're gonna bring it up, stopping it halfway through to the top. So your full clean is right there, coming all the way up. The difference is you are changing it from the full clean and stopping it at the 90 degree angle with the butt of the bell facing outwards. So hike, back down. So it does take a little bit of control because naturally you're gonna to wanna to come all the way straight up into your rack. You have to stop it at 90 degrees. What I'll say is one of the easiest ways to do this and to make it make sense in your body is to prevent your body from getting a full extension of the arm and the full range of motion. When that happens, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna have to pull the kettlebell back in and you're gonna be feeling like you're out of control. So if you can keep your armpit glued down and your elbow glued to the rib cage, even when you're in your setup, right? Like my armpit's shut, my elbow's just off my ribs, holding onto my bell, hike, elbow stays to the ribs, Gunslinger, back in. So the upper arm stays in one position while that kettlebell starts to move. If that works for you, great, play with that. If you're still struggling and you're having your bell come all the way up to here and it bottoms up, what I want you to focus on is the um, back end of the shotgun, right? So we're used to doing the shotgun into your clean. Now you're going to pull, punch, pull, swing, pull, swing. So instead of doing the pull, punch, you're doing Pull, drop, pull, drop. All right, so now with the kettlebell, you're going to hike, pull, drop, pull, drop. Using your exhales as always to bring it up. On the exhales, you're gonna squeeze your glutes. Inhales, you're going to hike back in. Make sure what you do on one side, you always do on the other. Now happy playing.